Uh, let's talk about the Giro Rosa. Coming up on Flow Bikes, July 5th through the 14th. What do we got going on? Yep, big, big women's tour stage race, 10 days. Last year's race, of course, was won by Annemiek van Vluden. She emerged victorious over Ashley Moomin by over four minutes. This year's race, we are starting off with a team time trial that finishes in Castellana de Copi. This is, of course, the birthplace of Fasto Copi and his brother, Circe. So we are going to get a lot of Italian cycling heritage on the television screens just from the start. And then fast forward past a couple lumpy sprint days, the uh, real meat of this race is going to start around stage five, where we're going to get to see the Gavia finally. Yeah, if, uh, if you were bummed like we were that you didn't get to watch the uh, men's Giro go over the Gavia Pass, don't worry. You will get to see it in the Giro Rosa. So excited to watch them go over the Gavia Pass. If you haven't seen the extra content bits that we did around that, it's, it's a pretty awesome mountain pass. And um, The women are actually finishing on top of the Gavia this year in uh, the Giro Rosa Stage 5. It's going to be pretty spectacular. They are taking a different route than what the men were meant to do. Of course, the men's race uh, did get uh, canceled, rerouted in the Giro d'Italia this year. Women, they are going through Ponte de, uh, sorry, they are going through Bormio on the backside of the Gavia and going up what is something like a 24 kilometer climb all the way to the first summit finish of the race. Yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be quite a, quite a long drag. And is there still snow up there, do you know? That is something I'm actually looking forward to uh, finding out. Of course, we, Ian and I, when we were in Italy for the Giro, we tried to ride uh, up to the top of the Gavia Pass and were uh, halted by pretty sketchy conditions about two thirds of the way up. I would have to uh, guess that there still is some snow lingering around up there. Okay, all right. And then we've got stages eight and nine, which are kind of the real meat of the race. Stage eight has two categorized climbs. Um, which is obviously going to see some GC contenders uh, making attacks and going after it. And then stage nine summit finish is going to be one, one last chance uh, for some big att attacks before stage 10 is kind of a, it's not a very aggressive looking profile. Yeah, uh, stage 10 there is one uh, category three climb towards the end of the race, but it looks like it's going to be uh, sprinters affair to close out the Giro. It is a big 10 kilometer long climb in stage nine up to Montasso at the uh, very finish. That is the second and final summit finish of the tour. So that is where we're going to see uh, the climbers get their last ditch efforts to take the win. Uh, I think that Cassia Nuadoma, she has been on phenomenal form all year and she, uh, this young Polish rider really could challenge Annemiek van Vluden for the title this year. That is a battle that I am looking forward to see emerging over the coming weeks.